I'm in the process of reading this here book. It's called We Are Going to Be Lucky, A World War II Love Story in Letters. And I can't tell if this is on the camera at all, but we're just going to assume that somewhere there's a camera that's capturing that. There we go. All right. Thank you very much. So in this book, I'm only at page 100. Um, it's a uh, series of letters written between a newlywed couple in the early World War II, 1940s era. And uh, the husband is a new soldier going through his training. The bride is uh, the Rosie Riveter stereotype where she's working in a factory and doing what she can to support the war efforts. Um, again, 100 pages into this, and it talks about the segregated army that he's experiencing and what they go through. She's talking about the uh, impact of anti-Semitism in her efforts at the factory to be as productive as possible. Talking about the efforts to stand up a union in the factory, because at that point they recognize the value of a union. Um, and so much more that uh, was... Uh, captured in the first 100 pages in what was handwritten letters sent over the course of the time that they were apart. Um, and with the time delay that we are no longer accustomed to. So uh, if anybody's interested, um, hopefully the library's got a copy of it, but this one says advanced reading copy, uncorrected proof. So I don't know if it's um, something that's readily available. I picked it up at a thrift store on a hunch. But uh, we are going to be lucky is the name of the book um, at a time where we are subject to stories from across the country talking and across the world about um, the, pro the the thought process of being Antifa. This is a couple that is putting it in writing what it means to be anti-fascist and to fight fascism. So there it is in writing, black and white. I would encourage anybody to find a copy and read it, and I will uh, continue. I look forward to re finishing the book in uh, the near future. That's it for the time being. Thank you very much.